Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. In this video, I'm going to take a look at using Microsoft Excel's sum ifs function development and evolution um, of its sum if function, which I've looked at in some detail on a previous video. Um, it went something like this. So what I've got here is a table which calculates the total sales per category of product, which is very, very similar, of course, um, to this pivot table. Looks very, very different, but the, the numbers are exactly the same. And those two things, those two data sets, those two tables of data are based upon this raw data I've got here. You may recognize it if you caught my various other videos uh, or a variation on it anyway. So the limitation, if you like, of the sum if function, actually been around a long, long time um, in Microsoft Excel, is the fact that it only takes a single criteria. So what I'm doing here is I'm using, this is my first argument, which is the range. You can see this here from the tooltip and the second argument is the criteria again there's the tooltip and the third argument is the range I'd actually like to sum up so I'm summing up this range of cells within this particular range uh, when that criteria is met you can see the sum range is uh, an optional argument in square brackets there of course but appropriate for this particular demonstration now here I've got a couple of tables already set up yeah, so I've set up I've uh, set up the layout as it were, and I've actually created the uh, the data, the calculations that I want here using the sumifs function. I'm going to be doing that to demonstrate uh, the sumifs function, exactly how it does work with a sum range, with multiple criteria ranges and multiple criteria kind of like pairs, if you like. So we just F2 on this particular cell. So there's an example. Check out my formula bar. Uh, there's an example of using the sum ifs function in um, Excel. Um, it's a range of cells indicated here. That's the range of cells that I'd like to sum up. And I've got multiple criteria ranges and criteria, yeah, multiple criteria ranges and criteria. Uh, as we can see, in fact, from the color coding of the, uh, the cells here, the three criteria that I'd like to incorporate um, into this uh, table. Uh, which particular type of sale is it? Is it an online or a retail sale? Which quarter of the year? Quarters one through to quarter four, of course. And which particular category of pro product? Is it beverages? Is it seafood, for example? I couldn't do that with some if, but you can do it really nicely uh, with some ifs. Like any of these things, of course, in Excel, when things beget get to be more interesting uh, they get they, they are of course uh, more complex just the way it is notice down here somewhere as well I've just got a simple little table based upon my online uh, how does that compare to retail well we'll soon find out let me just zoom in scroll across a touch so we can see that data table in some detail okay what's this this is a i7 I for example so I will equals sum ifs tab my sum range is on that raw data sheet and I'm interested in analyzing the total sales figures in some way shape or form so go to the first one control shift and down arrow to go to the last one F4 to make it absolute because I'm going to be copying it down through and in fact across the rest of that table comma separate I can see from my tooltip let me just move it slightly so you guys can see it nice and clearly the first criteria range let me just control home to go back up to my home cell I'll work kind of from left to right so which quarter which type of sale and over here somewhere to the right what category of product is it control shift down arrow to go from first to last F4 comma separate criteria one well the criteria is here and it's which particular quarter which is there comma separate I'm on to uh, criteria range 2 again back to my raw data sheet which type of sale is it this time first control shift down to last F4 comma back across to my table sheet and then pick up the type of sale in H5 looks like it's kind of somewhere else but of course that's centered across various columns there comma separate criteria range 3 and criteria 3 my last one in this particular case again 
going back to my raw data and I'm looking to where's my first category name my first category of product first to last control shift down to go from first to last F4 comma back to my table and I need to pick up the category of product H7 um, in this particular case don't need to but I will for completeness close off my brackets um, Excel of course we'll do that automatically and return or enter F2 on it so that's my sum ifs with a sum range and three kind of pairs as it were criteria range 1 criteria 1 criteria range 2 criteria 2 criteria range 3 criteria 3 cool nice Let me just escape um, on that now I will need to of course I could recreate all of these things individually but uh, why on earth would I do that I'm gonna grab it drag it down to seafood and across to quarter four and well <clears throat> I can't that doesn't make sense at all can't be right so of course what's gotten wrong is we've got to make sure that we get our cell references right for our criteria already done it for the criteria ranges on that raw data sheet but if I'm copying across the quarters and copying down through the categories of products uh, well what needs to be relative what needs to be absolute in this particular case actually for those two things we're going to have mixed cell references for retail let me just F2 on that formula uh, I'm also going to leave guys that range of cells um, selected I uh, show you another nice trick you might be aware of it but um, uh, it's, it's a really nice one I think so I've got top left kind of to bottom right selected press F2 now absolutely sure that my type of sale yeah so the red cell here H5 that is going to be kind of pure absolute yeah column letter row number if I click into my blue here I love this color coding nowadays it's so nice and clear yeah um, which of course is my quarter data if I F4 that's too much because I'm going to be copying across if I F4 again that means that the column letter yeah is relative but the row number is absolute copying across from quarter one to quarter three now this one here my H7 which of course refers to beverages I'm going to be copying down ultimately from beverages of course to seafood it's going to be F4 too much it's going to be F4 again that's the same that can't be right as my blue quarters if I F4 again again that's the mixed cell reference that I want the column letter is absolute and the row number is relative now to complete that modification that change I've made uh, down through the rest of the selection I'm gonna control and enter rather than just enter on its own and I get all of my data I love that kind of control enter that control return idea that um, copies a formula down through the rest of the selection really quite cool I think okay so let me F2 on that once again so you can look at that guys again don't forget here yeah, pause at certain points in the video you can have a close look particularly important particularly complex I think there okay yeah the sum ifs function summing a range across multiple criteria ranges and multiple criteria but also incredibly important here is to get your absolutes and your relatives kind of like the right, right way around yeah what is going to be fully absolute both column letter and row number what is going to be mixed is it this way round? Is it that way round? Think about it. If you're copying across, yeah, as I'm doing, for example, here uh, across my quarters, yeah, it's the uh, column letter relative row number absolute. The other way round here, for example. What I'm going to do, that's pretty much it for this particular video, guys. I think I'll leave it there. What I'm actually going to do before I leave you, um, in a future video of mine I'm going to look at using that kind of idea across multiple sheets which is really rather cool you actually do that nowadays in pivot tables across multiple consolidation ranges but it's not the neatest tidiest it's, it, it, it sometimes feels a little bit over the top um, of course some ifs not the simplest uh, function uh, in the world to get a handle on but um, hopefully you're already getting that like I say gonna come back and look at it in more detail more complex across multiple sheets what I'm also going to do to kind of finish off this whole sum ifs idea is I'm going to combine sum ifs with the indirect function to create something like that 
but that of course is for future videos I'll be uh, recording them and uploading them very very soon indeed let me go back however to this sheet leave you with that that's it from me Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer take care and bye bye